Your skin is the outer layer of protection to your body. Exposure to some chemicals and other hazardous materials can lead to this protection being broken down. It can cause pain, discomfort and long-term ill health. So where do the risks come from? Your skin can come into contact with hazardous materials through everyday work activities, such as wet work and use of chemicals in many workplaces, mixing or decanting chemicals and materials. Having skin contact with substances on contaminated surfaces, containers or clothing or exposure to or working with animals or foodstuffs. And finally, don't forget the sun. What are the causes of these risks? Damage to your skin can arise in any situation where direct or indirect exposure is possible. For example, immersing hands in hazardous materials, splashes, aerosols and dusts landing on the skin where there is no containment or reduction in use, where there is poor or no extraction at the source, where staff do not have suitable protective clothing such as gloves or have the wrong or poorly maintained protective clothing, not knowing how to put on or take off gloves safely, poor housekeeping and storage of chemicals or hazardous substances, and where there is a lack of awareness of the risk among staff and poor management. So how does all this affect your health? Damage to your skin can lead to a number of health effects. Irritant dermatitis or burns. Skin sensitization and allergic dermatitis, even to very small quantities. Pain and discomfort. Infection. Sunburn and possibly cancer. How do you control the risks? Taking steps to control the risks means you must identify which hazardous materials staff are exposed to. Then consider what steps are needed to remove or reduce this exposure. For example, use chemicals and hazardous substances that are less harmful to skin. Ensure good containment of the hazardous material. Consider tools and working practices that would minimize exposure to wet work and chemicals. Provide and maintain good work equipment and extraction systems. Provide suitable protective equipment such as overalls, gloves or aprons as appropriate. Practice good storage and housekeeping. Consider skin health checks for exposed staff. Always monitor your systems to ensure they are working correctly. Following these examples will help you reduce your health risks at work. For more information, check out the Where to Get Extra Help and Support chapter at the end of this DVD and in the guidance pack.